I'm Gary Swinierski, Director of Sales for PCI. Welcome to our video introduction of the 1.5 ton per day gamma plant. The entire Linlox cryogenic gamma plant is integrated onto a single 4630 pallet platform and weighs less than 10,000 pounds. This feature allows the unit to be fully transportable onto a single pallet within a C-130 aircraft. The unit is self-contained, requiring only electrical power from a commercial source or from a portable electrical power generator. I want to mention a couple of important features of the Gamma plant. It operates in the world's harshest environment and can be rapidly deployed by sea, land, or on a C-130 aircraft for use at remote locations or to support aircraft or emergency operations. The Gamma can be operational in less than five hours of runtime, producing 99.5% liquid oxygen or liquid nitrogen at its rated capacity and deliver liquid oxygen or liquid nitrogen into an external cryogenic storage tank and fill high pressure gas cylinders. The Gamma plant is also available as a semi-automated or fully automated control unit. It can be shut down quickly and ready for redeployment in a matter of hours. The entire Gamma plant is capable of operating in an unsheltered, chemical or biological environment without additional protection of the plant or the operator within the control panel and is designed to last over 20 years. Next, Steve Shellhays is here to discuss the plant more in detail. Thanks, Gary. Hi, my name is Steve Shellhays. I'm a senior engineer here at PCI. I'd like to walk you through the major components, features, and principles of operation of our on-site liquid oxygen, liquid nitrogen generator. The system is designed for transportability. It's built on a 463L pallet, which will fit in a C-130 aircraft. The system includes all necessary electrical and process connections which can be secured within the unit for transportation. This unit can supply liquid nitrogen, liquid oxygen, high pressure gaseous nitrogen, or high pressure gaseous oxygen at a rate of one and a half tons per day and 99.5% purity. The system can be operated on 460 volt 60 hertz or 380 volt 50 hertz three phase power and requires a 260 amp supply. The enclosed operator control room offers protection from adverse weather conditions, has an available cooling airflow, and contains all instrumentation, monitoring, and controls required to operate the plant. The control room is well lit and includes a folding seat and table. When the door is closed, the control room can be kept pressurized to keep out dust or other undesirable or harmful contaminants. This system is available in the semi-automatic version shown here, or the full automatic version, which is controlled through an HMI touchscreen. The system process consists of three basic subsystems to produce liquid oxygen or nitrogen, and a fourth to produce high pressure gaseous nitrogen or oxygen from that liquid product. These subsystems are the compressor, the RPSA, the cold box, and the recharger. The first subsystem is the compressor. This pressurizes ambient air to approximately 140 psi, which is necessary to produce the cooling required for liquefaction. There is a heat exchanger to cool the compressed air and a separator to collect the coolant mist from the air before it is fed to the subsequent process. The next subsystem is the patented Rapid Pressure Swing Absorber, or PSM. This subsystem removes the moisture, carbon dioxide, hydrocarbons, and other substances which can negatively affect the subsequent processes or contaminate the product oxygen or nitrogen. Preceding the absorber beds, is a series of coalescing filters to remove any remaining oil or water mist from the compressed air flow. The compressed air then enters the RPSA. The three beds cycle through the operational states rapidly. One bed is always online, providing clean, dry, CO2-free air to the cold box, while the other two beds are in various stages of regeneration, depressurization, or repressurization. This cycle is controlled by a programmable logic controller which signals the pneumatic valves on the air manifolds to actuate. The cold box is the subsystem which cools the air to a temperature that allows it to condense and separates the nitrogen from the oxygen in a process known as fractional distillation. Precise control of the temperatures throughout this process is critical. 
RTDs are placed in key locations throughout the system to allow monitoring of the various process temperatures. The process air entering the cold box first goes to the main heat exchanger, which cools it. A portion of this cold air is sent to the turbo expander. As the compressed air expands through the turbo, it is cooled further. The primary cooling function of the system relies on the principle that gas cools as it expands, and the turbo is the main source of cooling in the cold box. This cold air then returns to the main heat exchanger, where it cools the incoming process air. The remaining portion of the process air, which did not enter the turbo expander, is further cooled to the point where crude oxygen begins to precipitate out. This crude liquid oxygen enters the distillation columns, which allow the nitrogen to boil off, producing high purity liquid oxygen. If the desired product is liquid nitrogen, cold nitrogen gas is sent to another heat exchanger, called the condenser, where it is cooled below the boiling point to produce high purity liquid nitrogen. Because of the cryogenic temperatures involved in this process, the cold box must be very well insulated. This is accomplished by filling the box with an insulating material with very low thermal conductivity. The cold box is kept at positive pressure with dry nitrogen to prevent the entrance of moisture or other contaminants which could foul the insulation or cause damage to the components. Once the assembly is complete and the insulation material installed, the cold box is sealed for the life of the unit. The final subsystem is the recharger assembly. This consists of one pump and vaporizer each for the oxygen circuit and the nitrogen circuit. The pump feeds the liquid to the electrically heated vaporizer to efficiently convert the liquid product to high pressure gas, which can then feed a high pressure cylinder fill manifold, which is included with the unit. Thank you for your interest in the PCI liquid oxygen liquid nitrogen generator. Please contact Inside Sales for additional information. Thanks, Steve, for providing the important details of the Gamma plant. In conclusion, PCI designs and manufactures products to support commercial, industrial, and military applications wherever on-site oxygen or nitrogen generation is required. On behalf of all of us at PCI, thank you for taking the time to view this video. For additional information, please contact us at 951 Four seven nine zero eight six zero, or email us at sales at pcigases.com or visit our website at pcigases.com. Again, thank you.